Election day is July the 15th, the two states, an open primary. This race will be decided for the general election in this primary, so if you're interested in this race, you'll want to pick a Democratic ballot. Uh, also, you can start early voting over on Memorial Drive as early as the 8th of July. As CEO, how will you better inform the Cap County citizens in the event of emergencies or crises, such as the recent water main break or the tornado, tornado pardon me, which touched down along the Cap Avenue and the alarms did not go off? As your next CEO, I will put out a newsletter and I'll utilize the press. I'll constantly call press conferences to let you know what's going on and, and try to put us in the best and strongest position in this country. Well, thank you. You know, this weekend when we had the emergency with the water cut off, I spent an hour and a half trying to find out what was going on. I called the county emergency number. I got a busy signal. I then dialed 311. I was told, sorry, you're having trouble with 311. Uh, I was given another number. I called that number. I was told that we're only open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. I then called uh, the police non-emergency number, and I got 911. I didn't want to bother 911 because that's the emergency number, so I hung up. I then began to call people I knew in county government, my staff. Nobody knew what was going on. I got a couple of cell phone numbers from people, county employees, department heads, but I couldn't reach any of those. Uh, about an hour and a half into it, I dialed the police non-emergency number. Now, I'm constantly doing this. I end up being late for church as a result. My wife was not on the front row because she knows what I went through that morning. Uh, couldn't take a shower, couldn't use the bathroom. You know, uh, and so what we ended up doing is we got through on the police line, they told us what they found out, and then about an hour later I heard from county employees. We did a survey on this months ago. We proposed that there be robocalls and there be alerts to people via the internet so that when the, there is an emergency, if you have internet access you can find out, and if you don't have internet access, a robocall will go out to your home. These are some of the kinds of innovative ideas that we'll bring to county governance. My name is Burl Ellis and I appreciate your support. Thank you. Thank you. First, I owe Commissioner Ellis an apology because in the good old days, we used to call each other on the cell phone. You know, I'm always, everyone knows that Ann Kimbrough is the one that has the information. But I don't have your number. But you do have it. And, yes, sir, you do, because I, I have your cell phone number. But I'm not going to debate that. It's my time. Thank you. But I do want to say that it is important to know that I have been trained by the Emergency Management Agency twice. When you have an emergency such as that, when a transformer blows, what has to happen is, and rather than be a part of the problem and complain, find out how we can all better inform the community. There was a lot going on. Now, I wasn't late for my three churches, and I got the call first. I first called the chief, I started calling Georgia Power, I started calling others because I too wanted to know why the pressure was low. I wanted to know what the problem is. Robocalls are important, but there's a time lag in robocalls. We rely on what you have, and when you communicate effectively, we got our website up, we were able to communicate electronically, we call those individuals, we have those cell numbers, it's about a relationship. We also made sure that we worked with the news media. It's no different than any other fast moving crisis. So again, I owe you an apology. I'll make sure I give you my cell phone before we leave, and I'll do it right now. Thank you, Commissioner. First and foremost, ladies and gentlemen, we will have an operating communications, crisis communications plan that is in place and that is drilled on a routine basis. When an event happens, uh, whether it's, uh, and maybe we'll establish uh, levels of, uh, of alerts, yellow, orange, or red, um, I would be notified, department heads would be notified, there would be escalating levels of uh, communication as to a need to know. We would place recordings on the 311 Line, we would have 911 operators with that information. It would be a career decision for them to say that they can give you any information. Police, fire, uh, sheriff's department, EMTs, all department heads, e blasts, public service announcements on radio and television, and again, each department head under a crisis communications plan that I would institute would have a laminated card with uh, all the other uh, pertinent numbers on it so they can immediately uh, be in touch with individuals they need to, making certain, first and foremost, that the public who we serve knows what is going on and what the timeline is for correcting the situation.